our next big renovation is. How big is that? Not very big. It's pretty tight. It's a tight corner around the tub. And it gets kind of dark because the window light's blocked. This is our big, hunky, seafoam green 70s bathtub. <laughs> Let me just get into my beautiful cast iron antique clawfoot bathtub. Oh. Our bathroom is going to be so luxurious. I can't wait. The plan is to have a cast iron tub here and they're very heavy so we have to make sure that the floor is strong enough to support it. huge hole in our floor. It will be much easier to work without these pipes in the way. stronger now and on to plumbing. I'm really taking my time with these measurements because down the line if they're off we're gonna have big problems. a new issue. Once I roughed everything in, to get a proper slope for the drain, the pipe needs to come up quite a bit higher than the floor, so that's not going to work, and I needed to pull more back to see if I could do anything about it. It usually gets worse before it gets better. This is what we have here, and I don't think we need this upwards elbow because the slopes are way off. This is angling down that way when it should be angling towards the drain pipe. By turning this piece on its side, I was able to drop the pipe over an inch and now it has a perfect slope. We're about to close up the floors and I have a little exciting surprise to put in the floor before we close it up. We're gonna put a little memento box. We got all kinds of stuff in there. We took a lot of your suggestions and added some receipts, stickers, old coins, uh, a sketch of the design of the bathroom, some other random little odds and knickknacks. Hannah's now wrote over five pages full of a journal entry of everything that's going on in our life and 2020 and then a whole bunch of photographs of the house the property and us some herbs some puzzles a little simpsons i also filled the usb with our full library of videos 
as well as I found a more substantial box just in case somebody made a great point. If there's a plumbing leak and they find this in the future because of that, this will protect that, all the contents inside. Say farewell to our time capsule. I hope he stays on the floor for at least a hundred years. Any last words? Adios, adios. Adios. been a lot of work to get to this point. You ready to tell? Yeah, I'm ready. As ready as I'm gonna be. We are not done tiling yet. We still have all this to do. The floor is not completely straight, so got this piece of wood down to reference off and work our way up. We got these nice edge pieces that'll go along, and then we've got our nice subway tiles that'll butt up. Aren't you excited for tiling? I'm excited for it to be done. Stools are now required, making good progress. And if my math is correct, we should end up with a full tile at the top. Successful construction is dependent on one, good planning. And this is what good preparation is. <laughs> Good craftsmanship and three good teamwork. You like your tile job? Yeah. 
came out quite beautiful. I want to show it to myself. Kind of tidy up around here. <sighs> um, excuse me. You have stinky breath. Yeah. In true fashion, we're starting a project at 10 o'clock. That's what Friday I was about night. to say. <laughs> what do you do on your weekends for fun? <laughs> Not too dark. No. Have you ever cleaned a grout before? Come on. So I like waking up and seeing the bathroom. It just looks like a white brick. It was so fresh and inviting. Just come get clean, start your day. It's really the best point in the renovations where you finally start to see visual transformation of all your hard work. So we've got four colors. Three of them are brand new beauty tone colors that we are in love with. And another one is a custom color that was the original teal that we had in the bathroom. It was on the plaster when we were demoing. They did a color match for us, so it looks awesome. Ooh, the noise. OMG, is he mixed squeezy? Are you ready? Oh, I love it. Do you ever think you might have a purple bathroom? OMG, come on, that is nice. Oh my. I love this color too. I mean, come on, how are we ever gonna choose? Well, good thing we're not quite ready to paint yet. We have some time to decide. <laughs> The principles of building construction are the same for all types of work, no matter how large or how small. This is exacting work and requires careful consideration and careful application. It's called Free Spirit, a lighter version that's on the wall. Looks like white on camera. It does look white. <laughs> it's not white, I promise. That's white. Still looks white. Did we get it that light? Yes, because you don't like using dark colors. Do you like the color? Yeah, it's alright. There's always a phase of uncertainty, and then it starts to grow on you. about lighting up in here. <laughs> 
There is no one feature in the construction of a home that is more important than plumbing. It's for hydration, sanitation, and enjoyment. When you consider the price, durability, comfort, and beauty, no farmhouse is complete without the luxury of a cast iron tub. Ours will need some help. The long-awaited bathtub in its resting position. I never wanted to have a bath in July so bad in my life. Put it face up like this first so I can hose it out. And Let's then, see if you can, what you can manage. What's that song? Shooey, shooey, shooey. <laughs> I can't manage. Were you even lifting? Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, I can't do that. Everything inside of me shakes before it even lifts the ground. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna need some reinforcements. <laughs> How are we getting this upstairs? We can get up and we rest on the sofa for a second. Got my boys in blue doing all the heavy lifting. You realize that's the easiest carry this thing's gonna be. Stand here and just give a scratch. No, she's she'll be good solid 250. That, we bought this hundred year old cast iron tub for just $150. And we're gonna restore it to hopefully give it another hundred years. Would you look at that? Our refinished job's looking really nice. We're just on the last coat. And she looks good. Completely refinished the bottom surface and did five coats of an epoxy enamel on the inside and it's glistening. There is so much room for error in this epoxy kit and it matters what temperature, the humidity level, uh, how thick you lay it on, how fast you go over it. You shouldn't go over a spot that you painted. Anyways, it was a little nerve wracking. It still looks wonderful. Hopefully it'll last. But we have a big problem. We need to figure out a way to get this 300 pound cast iron tub up the stairs. And that's gonna be more difficult than you think. Our stairs are too steep and too narrow for more than one person to go up at a time. And there's no way one person could carry the brunt of the weight. And even if they could, I don't trust the stairs that much because in the wrong spot, they could break. There's also a very low angled roof at the top and the tub is too wide to carry face up. So you have to take it up on its side. We've thought of everything. And for one reason or another, they won't work. But I have an idea. With safety first in mind. I created a big beam out of four layers of 5 8 OSB and then put a huge eye bolt through it. I'm about to trust this little guy to carry over a 300 pound cast iron tub upstairs. I'm gonna hang a big heavy beam off our wall. Do you think a couple pieces of plywood's gonna lift that tub? Even Jacob's like, why don't you guys just carry it? And it looks like Elliot wants to make a work project. That's not what it is. <laughs> Ellie doesn't want anybody to get hurt. Yeah. That's what I told him. I'm like, don't even go there. We've tried. <laughs> what Do damage that. are you doing? I'm not a drill a hole for the outer fifth hole. Here? No. Right there. Right there. Yeah. Just right there. Right there. Just a yeah, little bit Yeah, see? Hole. You're planning on doing it anyways. Why do you even bother asking me? I just me? let it draw a hole. 
Not that, oh, he's just thinking of the smartest, most efficient, and, and It's not the safest. most efficient way, yes, it's probably the safest way, but it's the, probably the least efficient way. Yes. Because it's taking you two days of work to what get this days? set up. No. I'm missing a door trim, I have holes drilled in my stairwell, oh. I have a hole in my hallway oh, wall. Stop. I have Pause the electricity. Drill 700 holes here to find the studs instead of using a stud finder. Mm. You have to remove the freaking electricity. All that matters is someone's safe, okay? I'm no, watching it fail <laughs> out the front of the house. Okay, don't jinx it. Man. Okay, just get it done. You know what you need to do. Well, I don't know what I need to do. Hopefully that you is... You need to drill a <laughs> I said you're on my work project. So to create the ramp, we have these wedges that fit in between that we can secure the plywood to. And I added rails onto the ramp so the sled doesn't fall off of it. It's just kind of about committing at this point. Yeah, this oh man. This is maxed out now. This is a little what I was worried about. It's maxed out. It's maxed out. But it's okay. I have a backup plan. Got it anchored down low, so we'll crank it down. <laughs> We're safe. Fish. It's still hanging out over the stairs. Oh man. A lot. Oh, that was stressful. All up to you to get it shimmied over. Well, we got a tub. And dirty feet that need cleaning. Ew, that's disgusting. Why are you christening your tub with those? It's a tub, it's meant to bathe my dirty feet. In this bag is truly a work of art. Solid prints. Wonderful, marvelous that you should care for me. 
I need a sink. We got this dresser and it reeked from cigarette smoke, so we had to strip it down and refinish it. But it was like $150 and it's the perfect size to fit in the hole in the bathroom. Now I need it to become a vanity. And that's your job. Also, some cabinet doors would be nice. So we have somewhere to hide the garbage can and also for our taller cleaning supplies. And we were able to reuse the drawers from the old cabinet. When I realized How can I express When I realized We cut a notch into the board as well as a corresponding notch into the ceiling so we could pop a mirror in those grooves and have something that could slide back and forth. But once we completed it and we took a step back, we really didn't like this mirror design. As practical as it is, it doesn't really fit into the aesthetic and I don't think it will last. It's never fun redoing all your work, but we're gonna build something better. <laughs> Such a mish to go all the way downstairs when I have to pee at night. And it's getting pretty antsy for our toilet. It's been a while. I'm not gonna forget you this time. All the way downstairs, the opposite side of the house, in the dark. Lefty, lefty. That's super annoying. Let's hope there's no leaks. What? The toilet. <laughs> <laughs> You're filming, so that means yes. <laughs> oh, my throat is bad. <laughs> okay, see you later. About time, eh? <laughs> You'll manage. No, I can't drip dry up here all day. For it, say hooray for it, but just stay with it, cause there's nothing like love. Clown with it, if you drown with it, just go down with it, cause brother has love. We finally upgraded from the tote. Talk about that a bit. <laughs> I mean, thank God I'm small. I could fit in it, but that was an experience. A major upgrade. <laughs> but it's, it's been like three months or more than that. More than four months. What? We five months. This back in like February. February. March, March April, April, May, June, July, July, August, September. 
seven okay. months. Time flies. <laughs> but we finished the bathroom. <laughs> Woohoo! Whenever you have these projects that just drag on for so long, you know, mm. you're, 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 you're bound to run into some Your tension. Your patience goes... <laughs> Yeah, you spend way more time in a bathroom than, than you, you think. think. You do. <laughs> it's oh, a spa, it's a washing machine, it's an office, yeah. it's a potty, it's a... A meditation place, yeah. place of I zen and zen. serenity. <laughs> yeah. It should be a place where you enjoy being. Yeah. And after a lot of hard work, we accomplished that. And behind this door, and door number one, is the result of all our hard work. A luxurious spa. It's a squeeze for sure. If you like our bathroom, you'll love it at Home Hardware because everything that we used to build it came from there. From painting to tiling to bathtub restoration, be sure to check out your local Home Hardware to get all the supplies you need for your next home renovation project. <laughs> you should do that with your whisper. <laughs> And we are so excited to be able to share our new bathroom with our new baby. If you enjoy our videos and would like to help support us, here are some ways. Hey, what kind of ducky dad are you? <laughs> Cats in the yard, life used to be so hard. Wow. Wow.